Well, hello and how are you? This is Shenandoah Briscoe wishing you a very happy Easter to you. Yes, it's a happy Resurrection Day. Yeah, if you didn't get a chance to see it, that there, uh, um, by the Bible, uh, conclusion A.D. was on this evening, uh, around, uh, 8 o'clock this that evening. Uh, Roma Downing is the uh, uh, producer, her and her husband. So if you get a chance, it's a uh, mini-series. Starts at uh, 8 p.m. on uh, all the, uh, on Sunday evenings. Alrighty, I'm sure that at some point in time you'll be able to catch the uh, part one of it, which will probably run uh, at 7 o'clock, and then it'll run again at... Uh, Part two will run on at uh, 8, 8 p.m., which is the way they done it when they done the Bible series itself. So, we'll hope that that's the way it goes. Anyway, it was pretty good. I didn't get to see the very beginning of it. I did get to see a little bit of it. Uh, did get to go to church today, and uh, we had a we had a very uh, moving. Uh, service today my i i was uh i was touched on the way on the way to go i mean on the way uh, i was uh feeling an anointing from the word go this morning so i had to go to church either way and anyway it it uh, seemed to be pretty good pretty good services and everything so can't 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 hurt to go to church especially if you're god fearing of a uh, Christian like myself. All righty. Well, that being said, my voice is uh, going to have to be a little loud today on account of this microphone is just not what it's used to be. I don't know why. I don't know what's the matter with the. Uh, uh, I don't know what's wrong with my uh, microphone and headset. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, What's wrong with this camera? The camera is not the best quality in the world. But I, I and I, when I got the computer, I was under the impre- impersonation that the, uh, the, I was under the impression that the camera was supposed to be high quality, so I could do just this sort of thing. So that whenever I would put in applications for places, I could send them a video of myself doing the, pretty much what I'm doing here. Um, selling myself. That's what I would. That's what I would be doing. Uh, but eh, the quality uh, just isn't uh, up to my standards. Well, you know what that there was. You know what that was. That there was a muscle spasm. Yeah, we went through all that years or years ago. I say months ago. Whenever I st- first started the blog, told you I was going to have those periodically. Which I do. And most quads will have them. Newer quads will have them. Um, Probably not as severe at first. Um, And generally they start getting better. Mine have uh, gotten worse over the years. Uh, I'm contemplating a baclofen pump. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Um. it's a little pump system that uh, injects baclofen straight into your spinal cord. And, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. I don't I don't like the idea of having a, any kind of a extra metal apparatus in my body. Um, I guess those are those people out there that have to have the... Uh, um, the heart thingy uh, in their chest so they can keep on living and surviving so I guess if you have to go that route you have to go that route I was extremely hoping that uh, God would have me all healed up and ready to go before I would need something like that and I always looked at these muscle spasms as God's way of strengthening my muscles and getting me ready to walk and that's what I'm you know, that's that's where my hopes are. So I just keep avoiding that uh pump. 
but they just keep talking about it and keep talking about it. And last time I went into the VA uh, a couple of days ago, it was pretty rough. It was rough on them, and it was kind of rough on me. And, uh, well, they nearly uh, lost me, so they really talked it up pretty hard about the uh, back of the pump. As a matter of fact, the only reason I even thought about it was on my way back past the office. I heard them talking about uh, muscle spasms and and not being able to uh, uh, control them. And I said, and when as I went by, I said, who are you talking about, me? And they said, yeah, we are, as a matter of fact. And I said, all right, well, I tell you what, next time, if you want to schedule me a baclofen pump test, then I guess I'll be agreeable to that. So instead of taking the uh, 100 milligrams of baclofen that I'm on, then uh, I guess what I'll, let's see, is that 100? 160, 160 milligrams back of it that I'm on right now. Um, it'll be like one milligram of baclofen throughout the whole day, and it'll be uh, injected directly into my spine. So I'll have way less, way less of the drug administered to me. Only I, I won't have to take it uh, orally. It'll be a whole lot less of the drug in my system. So that would be a plus because the more drugs that are in your system, the more chances you have of messing with your liver and your uh, other organs. So uh, it's, you know, it's a flip of the coin. You know, you either got a, either got that extra apparatus in your body or you take more, uh, more of the drugs. So I'm hoping that the... Uh, that if this test goes well, that the uh, lesser drugs in my system would be better off for me. But I'm still uh, I'm still under the impression that I'm going to be uh, healed before that uh, surgery or or before that test even comes up because God's will is God's will, and He says that uh, I should be healed here on earth prior to uh, being in heaven. In uh, in uh, God's prayer, it says, "It says, Our Father who art in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, whose will be done on earth as it is in heaven." Now, see, that's why I say right there, you got to check that out, because in heaven there is no suffering, there is no uh, pain, there is no uh, illness, and there's no quadriplegic, that's for sure. So, that's what we're looking for, and that's where we're headed. Now then, I, earlier I was going to do a blog, and I was going to portray that it was yesterday's blog on account I missed yesterday. And, and I thought, well, maybe I, I'd try to get that on, uh, try to sneak one past on you, but... I figured I better not. I'll just do today's vlog, which is actually blog 64, I believe. Um, I do believe I mentioned that when I first started. Uh, it's just one of those things, you know. It's Easter Day, and I'm trying to trying to keep up with it. I didn't. I was gonna try to slip one by on you earlier today, but. We got all involved with the, uh, my mom and dad showed up for a little bit there, and my, uh, roommate's relatives showed up, and we all had, they went out for the Easter egg hunt, and they, they brought in the eggs, and the, and the little ones, uh, and the little one outsmarted everybody, you know, they threw the eggs out on the blanket for her to crawl around and grab a hold of, no, that one, she grabbed a hold of the blanket, slid it right on over to her and got the eggs without crawling to nothing. They was, oh, it was just a joy to see. It was a joy. Oh, right out there. Outsmarted everybody. They just, oh, you know how it is. When you get them little bitty ones and then they outsmart the adults. That's where it's at right there. You know, little ones just got the brains of a sponge and they can soak up any kind of information. So, you know, now is the time to start them. 
you start that baby on the religion, and that baby will grow into it. Each and every one of the uh, grandchildren that were over here today have been started out on it, and we know that they're going to come back to it because that's the way it is. Life is a journey, and a journey in a big circle. First off, you're going to learn from day one, you'll learn that uh, your parents always seem to guide you. And then as you get older, you feel like you are you can guide yourself. But I'll tell you this much. The older the, you get, the smarter your parents were. That's if they guided you in the right direction. I tell you what, the older I get, the smarter my dad was. And my mom, too. They knew a lot more than I thought they did. But now, I, now that I'm grown up and I'm about following in their... I'm, about their age when they were trying to teach me. Well, I tell you what, they knew more than I thought they did. I have to give them credit for that. But yeah, anyway, like I said, it's full circle. So, you know, if you brought up in church and you start in church, you'll usually come back to church. You'll find your time away from it and you won't you won't like what you uh see, but I, I know you'll get back to it as soon as you can. Now, this is just a shout-out to my boy. If you get a chance to watch it, happy Easter to you. Now, I am going to go ahead and uh, scan in your birthday card on the uh, Facebook. So, if you get a chance to see it, well, I'm going to tell you, uh, I want all your buddies. I want all your buddies around you so that they can all read it at the same time. All right? All righty then. Happy Easter to you. Be good. Be safe. And uh, be good. Yeah, be good. Just, just remember, toleration. That's where it's at. All right. I tell you what. I'm really getting a, getting getting good with the game here. Game program. Let's see. Oh, here. Let's put this back up there. You know. Oops. Where'd it go? Did I tell you happy birthday? I meant to say happy Easter. Well, this ain't coming up. It's driving me nuts. There it is. That's what I wanted. I was trying to get the date on there so that y'all could see that this actually is uh, Easter instead of uh, prior to. Anyway, hey, you like this shirt? It says, it says, uh, um, those who wait on the Lord will mount up on the wings of eagles. Yes, sir, that's Isaiah 40, 31. I think it's, is it 30 or 40? Yeah, 40, 30, and 31. That's right. Isaiah 40, 30 through 31. And I tell you what, that there is a good, that's a good uh, verse for us uh, quadriplegics who out there, who are out there, you know, waiting. You know, you can wait and and hope and pray, and one day it's going to come through for you. Now it may not be today, and it may not be tomorrow. Maybe 20 years in the waiting, but there's still waiting for us. Now. You may not say much about it, but I can tell you this much. As a Christian, I believe that you you can expect your miracle whenever it comes. Now, I myself, I haven't really asked for the miracle. I believe that my miracle occurred at the get-go right after my accident. Because of the fact I went through no depression. And that's one of the things that they always say you're going to go through. I never did. And I I uh, praise the Lord for that. Didn't go through a depression at all. I was just straight out of the shot. Okay with my paraplegia. I mean with my quadriplegia. And uh, 
a lot of people, a lot of you guys might be going through a little bit of depression. And I understand that. And it's not going to be easy for you to come out of it. But I do want you to realize this. If you've got God on your side, no matter what the outcome, He's going to help you through it. You can always lean on Him. And that being said, this is Shenandoah Briscoe saying, Hello and how are you? God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed day and blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us and was re resurrected on this day in, back in the old on Easter Resurrection Day. Amen and have a blessed night.